That's his tranny. Well, Brad's looking all good because he's about to pop a baby out of his wife. So he's got to take some pictures. But here's the flipping motor. He's dragging her into our disaster here. Uh, all in all, I think it's pretty good. She's got a get rag on the end of her. And uh, the motor, at least from what we can see so far, uh, was really clean. Checked out the oil cap. That was the, the biggest extent to what we did was just looking the oil cap. And it looked pretty clean in there compared to all the other motors we had. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And she spins over freely. And you, it's got a somewhat new gate on her. Uh, not new gate, but Fancy new whatever that is. Bruce Jenner line. Uh, but, yeah, I'd say it's going to be a pretty square motor. And before we know it, Donald's going to be flipping, giving her some sauce. I'm bod. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dirty. Oh, too bad it's not a Z though. Oh. <laughs> I'm starting with it yeah, already, it man. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Brad, Josh, Donald. Yep. So we're on the same day of pulling this motor. So we pulled today, Saturday. This is gonna Time be third. Or less, like take three. Yeah, this is definitely three. this is gonna be series part three of <laughs> this motor swap. Um, we're not gonna be here too late tonight. This part three is gonna be kind of over a couple day period. Because we kind of have a couple other things which we'll kind of go over in this video, but this is gonna be right now. We're gonna go through spark plugs. We did already, and we said it in the last video that we have we've checked oh, the crank, really a com good. compression yeah. test. That looks good. That does no cool pack looks good. So at, at this point, we're going to take this valve cover off. Kind of check the cams, check everything, check for scoring. But yeah, I, overall, the, the health of the motor, I think, it, from what it looks like so far, it looks to be pretty healthy. It looks really good. But My problem is, is the car wasn't damaged, right? Well, not anything that was like too majorly insane to why we think we would pull <laughs> it out. Like it had some like little dents on the side or anything, but. I don't think an insurance company would totally So why so. why is that car in the junkyard, right? Like a junkyard pole, that's the one thing that scares me. Or like that other car we found that was a BMW we were looking at was impounded by the police department, sat for a year, and then just got sold yeah, to the junkyard. Yeah, we can get the scope and we can put it down to the Yeah, screen. and that's kind of what we're aiming for. So we're going to kind of do this and kind of see what's going on. There's it, water down in between mm, the plug. That's not a good sign, maybe. Yeah. Unless someone was looking at it. Probably. And that's probably what happened. Well, we'll probably see. as we freaking had it upside down water drip in there. So. Maybe. I, mean, I don't know. It's a, it's a it doesn't look like yeah, it's, it's only water cylinder water. number two. Is that really just water or is that might be oil? No, that's water. Okay. I don't want to like pull up. So My biggest problem too with this down. thing is oh, yeah, it would, it would hurt it. the, what are they called? Everything. The junkyard, they marked this thing all over for warranty reasons but my problem is is we're gonna clean it so if we clean it and there's something wrong we bring it back are they gonna be like oh you didn't get it from here yeah they could be spots like that i mean who knows well i don't know i hope not like i was saying josh there's a lot of spots on here that they over marked that i can leave when i clean it that's probably what I do. I do yeah. my best to keep that clean. Yeah, exactly. keep some, do but some like of this, I'm obviously going to have to like clean all off. The and underneath and just, and it doesn't but really at look the end of the day, that dude, bad. That, that trans itself is worth a thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think, it, back, bro. I think your numbers are a little high. No, I was surprised. looking those up. Were they? Look, we'll look it up right now. All right, you look them up. If but it's pretty it, clean. I'm like this block in general is just clean. So. Before this video ends, I know we're kind of all over the place because we just, we found a killer deal. We had to get it. Um, our biggest thing is, is with this V8. This is my car, the S14. I also have, it's my BMW out there, but we're building it for Donald, so Donald can drift this year. We have less than, what month is it? March? Yeah. No, it's February. We probably have about 45 days to get a lot of, we have 45 days to get, what, three cars ready? 100%. Yeah, it is. 
so this LS runs, it runs awesome. We fired it up today actually. Had to kind of do a little jump with it with the ECU. But we're going to, we do have the wiring specialties harness that so looks clean. But inside underneath, we have a lot of wiring that's just everywhere. So we're gonna clean up the wiring and it's just gonna be a solid car that just runs all day, doesn't catch on fire. Knock on wood. And uh, we just kind of go from there. Like that's just the biggest goal. We got cages coming. Cages are gonna be the next big thing for four vehicles. Oh. We got a paint car still. Like, there's so much to do on these cars. Yeah, the trend is on eBay right now for cheap for almost a thousand dollars. Let's see. All right, you right. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but and then the other car we have, which is my white Z, which uh, my father, which he just has his nickname Sarge, and that's a whole nother story for another another day. Maybe he can explain it is driving my z he tells me he's gonna buy it and every time he walks into my shop he's like don't touch my z i'm gonna buy it from you for two thousand dollars and he just he lowers the price every time it drives me freaking nuts i'm like dad i will sell this thing to you for four thousand dollars five thousand dollars fully loaded gk tech everything and it's dual caliper set up four thousand dollars just to my dad and he keeps coming back at me like, oh, I'll get you $2,000. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> but other than that, it's just, we're excited for this year. We have tons of things coming up. We have tons of projects, big things happening for the shop. Um, yeah, just like, tons. So other than that, I'm gonna go back to these guys. We're gonna kind of fast forward through some of the basic stuff until we get the valve cover off and we'll go from there. We're gonna pull the spark plugs. How they look? I guess they already pulled them while I mean, I'm talking. They, they need to go on. Yeah. They need to be replaced, but nothing okay. to be too scared about. I mean, they're obviously fouled out. They're really black, but kind of want to work your way up the porcelain of the spark plug to see the true state of it. See if the cylinder gets hot. Okay. But they're mint. <laughs> well, that's good. That's all we care about. So over the next couple of days, Donald's gonna clean this. We'll get some good videos to add to this part three of the series, and then we'll just keep it going. Next Saturday, we're planning on dropping this motor into the new BMW. We're gonna clean the BMW. It's gonna be solid. It's just gonna be looking good. So other than that, we're just gonna set it up fast forward. We're gonna pull this valve cover off and go from there. See you guys in a minute. First look, the first under the look. valve cover. We are gonna replace the valve cover gasket, even though if it's new, we still want to replace it. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you, that threw me off, and I thought the chain was off, and I was like, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Again, I don't know, I don't know anything about BMWs. Josh doesn't know anything about BMWs. Donald's for sure hell doesn't know anything about BMWs. But for like, generally it's, speaking, for what we know from previous cars. Yeah. There's no scoring on the what well, looks like. I haven't looked at all, already, but you can't feel any scoring on the can. It looks bolt. good. Well, at least on the exhaust side, you don't feel any scoring. It turned over nice and freely, and everything under here actually yeah. looks pretty dang clean. Like, yeah, that's actually looks. Really I'm not good. really like worried that. about it at all. Nice, smooth. You can get a horse. I got a horoscope. You can get a horoscope in here. <laughs> Depict this thing's future for tomorrow. For when Donald first drives it. <laughs> <laughs> when you over rev it and float it out. That'd be a bad day. Overall, I would say she's, for what I can see so far, she's pretty square, you know? That was a trick, by the way. <laughs> yeah, how's this thing go? We're probably gonna look like noobs in the BMW community. I know, right? That little baffle. What are these? Ooh, what is what is this? I think that's that looks like they're there on purpose, right? Maybe. Does this side have it? I don't see it on this side. And that's all we Oh, that Ooh. might be rubbing. Yeah. Well rubbing on what though? That's the thing that might have been taken out from the factory to balance. They do look like perfect cuts. Well on the lobes itself is where I'm looking. 
if you want an auto fired up. Yeah, I think these are. <coughs> Should we? Because there's nothing that would scrape for the motor. I mean, you can turn it over, get a get a hex on the crank, and not a hex. Just get a nut on the crank and spin it over, and you can see. I like the nut on the crank too. <laughs> Heard it here, folks. <laughs> All right. What the? Fuck? Step on something. Step on the duck, bro. I, I, I truly think this looks really good. Yeah, I mean, you can't. from looking at like SR motors, even just I wouldn't say LS motors because they're a little bit different. But just looking from an LS motor point of view, like or LS. SR. An SR, something that I've worked on a lot. Like the, this the looks only really thing clean. Scaring me so far are those. I think that's for. Balance, I think it looks I, like it's for I, balance. I, I agree. I if you guys know what this I is in the comments, yeah. please let us know. Yes. I think that's these are for balance because it's not like it's gonna hit on anything. Like there's nothing underneath there to hit. Yeah. So let's just get it on the crank. <coughs> I'm looking for a. This is not the right side. I need to be on. So I'm hoping I'll look at the camera again. Let me see if I can really show it. But yeah, it's right there. They look really clean. So it's I, like someone took a grind wheel and just flipping sanded it down. It, well, it looks a lot cleaner than a grind wheel. Yeah. But like, there's nothing for it to hit underneath. And it has the same like wear color as it does the whole camshaft yeah. yes. and like on the inside of the motor. It so does. I'm not worried about it at right all. One? Yeah. You might need an extension on that. Honestly, but I just say you give her the beans until she flipping blows up. You going the right way? Is there a right way? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, go clockwise. Clockwise. Which way? Yes. Clockwise. Way. The same way as a clock. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. <I'm going> clockwise. <laughs> okay, let's see. I mean, nothing looks. It doesn't look sketchy. I mean, there's not. A ton of oil in this thing, so let's not do, get too crazy. But oh, we're not. I know. Uh, putting it too crazy. There should be enough in Dude, there. This could be dry. We don't want to really turn things over dry. No. Well, Brad. No. I know how things you work. You like it dry. I no. I like it lubed up in it. Where are? How do you tell? Or if super the like chain moist. Is skipped? Oh. Where are the marks? You know. Uh, I'm not sure on these BMWs, but I assume that you have two indicator points. That, yeah, that's why another thing I was trying to look at. Like, oh, fuck, here's why one. is your bro, guys? <laughs> Brad got his ass hanging out. I got my. It was my. Oh, I just I got a bug bite from the junkyard. I think. I just want to make sure I'm getting no canaris virus. Or whatever it's called. That's it for me. Something I know about. Brad. See, All right, guys. So as you see, we're just gonna be messing with this for a little bit. We'll let you guys watch again. We won't be staying too late on this thing tonight. We're just gonna kind of mark our mark our bolts and stuff. And go easy on the comments in here, because we're kind of new to this uh, whole BMW. Yeah, game. I think you're right. Look, they're on both sides. Yeah, yeah that's I'm why. I'm pretty sure it's for balance. Hopefully, someone that knows BMWs can help us a little bit. I've never seen that on a a, a cam before. The other one doesn't have any, so. Huh? So I don't know. But we'll let you guys watch a little bit more. And again, this video is going to be for over a couple of days, so it'll, we'll probably be wearing something else by the time you see us again. And probably won't, we won't even have this part that we're talking about in the video, probably, because we're going to... Maybe. I do like to, I like to keep videos between a certain I, time. I, I don't sleep and like to Google stuff at night, so you... <laughs> but the so. pressure, even though spark plugs are out, everything felt like it was... Right it looks good. The spark plugs are just... We need to change them, but that's about it. That's about it, guys. We'll let you guys watch. If not, you'll see the next steps we go. We're gonna be cleaning it, put it back together. Val a new valve cover, which you'll see the valve cover. Valve cover yeah, gasket. Let's we'll go from there. I think that's about it. I think it'll be just be a fun car to just not worry all too much about. It's gonna be just kind of like a low budget type thing. And then just that is our goal. Low budget. Everything we got here. This is gonna um, be as cheap front as bumper. Second hand as possible. Front bumper, the only thing we didn't get was a radiator because it was pretty destroyed. We might be able to look at some other junkyard cars for a radiator, but we're really trying to go for the junkyard build. Cheap, but reliable, so Donald could drive this thing all year, learn how to drift, learn how to do everything. Um, the most I think we'll put into it is a new GK Tech uh, e-brake yeah, rear caliper setup. Something, something that's not going to bend me over the table when I... No. Breaks. 
No, this is yeah. Well, this is gonna be. Well, it's gonna be fun. All build. in here, just this whole powertrain, <laughs> all the parts that we got. You, you, there's like a lot of parts in the truck that we got. got the yeah. So, set up. Uh, yeah. The motor, everything. literally. Everything but the diff. Harness, trans, drive shaft, everything but diff to give the power. It was under five hundred dollars. Yeah. Literally, Dallas guessed it. Yeah. Like to the dollar. <laughs> But that's about it. We'll quit talking. We'll let you guys go. We're going to be having a part four series into this thing. And I'd rather be doing that with other fun things. So, okay. Enjoy. Like. Subscribe for sure. Keep up with this and what we're doing.